guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do three bee projects that are fun, easy, and perfect for summer. So the first thing we're going to create is the Be Kind sign. I'm just recycling a sign I already had at home and so I'm going to remove these metal hearts and then I'm going to paint it with Waverly White chalk paint and I'm going to do the whole board including the sides. I'm going to take these folk art stencils that I got at Walmart and I'm going to use the beehive stencil and I'm just going to lay that on my board and cover the whole board with this beehive stencil. So I'm using the yellow chalk paint which I believe the color is called corn and I'm just going to use that over the whole board with this stencil. I did use the stencil on the sides and ends of the board as well so it looks like it kind of wraps around it. It does end up being a little bit time consuming but it's so cute when it's finally finished. So next I'm going to take some Waverly stencils that I got at Walmart and I'm just going to spell out the word kind. I measured them because I cut out the stencils to make sure that they were even when I put them on the board. And then I'm just going to use my Waverly black chalk paint which the color is ink and I'm going to go over those letters and then I like to fill in the letters so they look like one giant letter instead of having the gap. So I just go back with a smaller brush and fill in those lines. Next I got this super cute bee stencil from Amazon and I'm just going to use that Waverly ink chalk paint again and I'm going to go over the stencil in different directions for the bees along the rest of the sign. Then I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to draw some little lines to connect the bees. It doesn't show it in the picture but I do go through the words and there is bees on the other side of kind that it connects to. So now for our last step, we're going to take some sandpaper and we're just going to go over the whole thing. When in the video, it looks like my um, paint is smearing, but it's actually just the sand coming off. When I blow it off, you cannot see it smearing between the letters. Another great thing to give it a distressed look would have been to go over it with the Waverly Wax again. I was just worried that it would give it too much of a brown look and I wanted to make sure that you could still tell that it was a beehive behind there. I really love how this turned out and I just really love this bee stencil. It makes me want to use it everywhere. Next we're going to make a beehive using a Dollar Tree pot and some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need two packages of the nautical rope. As you can see in the video, it doesn't quite cover it with one. Once you have covered the whole pot with your nautical rope, we're going to take just a small piece and make it into a circle so that we can make the front of the hive. These rubber fingers I'm wearing came from the Dollar Tree and they are a lifesaver. I have a super hot glue gun and I'm always burning myself and these have been a lifesaver today. Once you have it glued on there, you're going to paint the inside with black paint. I'm using the ink by Waverly again, but you can use any acrylic paint for this. We're ready to place our bees on. I'm using buttons from Hobby Lobby today. I didn't love these buttons, but they were literally the only bee buttons I could find in any store in my area. So we're using these today. They're a bit blingy, but they do turn out pretty cute. 
Our final step, we're going to take a bow and we're going to glue it to the top. I'm using this buffalo check ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. All you're going to do is tie it into a shoelace bow, which is basically a bow that you would do to tie your shoes. And then you're going to glue it to the top. It can be as big or small as you like. And then you're going to dovetail the ends just to give it more of an upscale look. third and final project today we're going to be using this adhesive cork that I got at the Dollar Tree and we're going to be using that same B stencil and the ink by Waverly Paint again. So I'm using my stencil brush that I also got at the Dollar Tree and I really like this brush for a dollar it does a really great job. Um, you're just going to take the stencil and go all over the adhesive cork in any patterns that you like. I like to do some of it hanging off and some of it on. Then we're going to take this sign that I also got at the Dollar Tree and we're just going to trace around the back of the adhesive cork and then we're going to cut that out. I realized once I got it cut out that I didn't have enough bees on my cork so I went back and put some more bees in there and then I'm just going to peel that cork off and stick it to my sign. This project basically cost $2 minus the stencil and paint that we already have and I think it turned out so adorable. Here's the final look for today. I think it turned out so adorable. I added some sunflowers and a rope tray that I had made and it makes such a cute look. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you're going to recreate any of these for your own home. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and hit that bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for joining me today and remember wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. Till next time!